Hey everybody, Southern Bubba here. I am back with another video and just want to welcome everybody back to my channel. And this video is going to be something really, really different that a lot of people have never thought about, but I have been asked this question time and time again, uh, seems like forever. Well, I know that I've stated in other videos that I had owned a bread route for about 14 years. Well, today is that day. Here is the bread man's video. I'm going to answer some questions as far as things that you've asked me and the biggest, I guess, statement that I have had over the years is, well, how hard could it be? It's just a loaf of bread. <laughs> well, <laughs> you would be surprised how much is involved and hopefully this video will show you just how involved owning a bread route or just running a bread route um, how much there is involved with it and let me tell you it's a lot now let me give you a brief history um, i started out in the grocery business as a teenager and went through numerous jobs throughout my life and then when my now ex-wife was coming back from the military, I had to get a full-time job, good paying job, and I kind of fell into the bread business, and I had no choice but to make the best of it. Well, I did really well in it for a long time, uh, made a lot of money with it, but unfortunately with a bread route, it takes up your whole life. You may work actually delivering you may work 10 or 12 hours, but that's not all that's entailed in it. There is a lot of other things. I mean, you, as you will see in the video, you go to the where, depending on what company you work for, you go to the warehouse, either pull your bread or your bread is already at your door for you. And then you have to separate your bread uh, by stops that you ordered, which is the way it was at the company that I used to work for or with the company that I did this particular video for, you just pull your own bread and then you just take the full trays and you put them on your truck. And then as you get to each store, you will see what they need and then you will go back out to your truck and pull what they need and take it in. So each company is a little different, but the principles are still the same. So I hope that this will answer some questions for everybody. And actually, <laughs> for my family and friends that have asked me about it over the years, I hope this gives you a little clarity of what I went through for so many years. So I hope everybody enjoys it. So you guys just sit back and hopefully I got all the aspects of it, at least a clear enough message that you will understand. So here you go, everybody. Check it out. Tell me what you think at the end. I'd love to hear your comments. Here's the video. Right, guys it's about quarter to five in the morning this is actually Memorial Day and I'm fixing to head out to go deliver some bread who wants to go with me and just to give you an idea everybody's off work today except for mainly your retail I got up at 345 this morning to go do this bread route so those of you that know me that have been that knew that I had a bread route at one time and sold it now you're going to get to see what I kind of, what I go through and what other vendors go through when it comes to dealing with grocery stores, the process at which you have to do it. So you guys come along for the ride and let's get this done and show y'all exactly what it is. So I'm going to grab my stuff. I already got my lunch packed, got the computer and the printer ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and walk out to the truck and we're going to get started.
right, let this thing warm up. Now, we got to print out our order. I happen to be running a Pepperidge Farm bread route. So I have to go in here. Oops, wrong one. Let's go back to sellable. And we'll do load. And we have to highlight today's orders. And just need to print it out. stores so let's do it all right guys I'm at the depot I don't know if you can tell in the background but there is a bunch of bread in there you got to pull your own order got a list right here got to grab what I ordered let's go check it out as you can see got all your bread right over in here you got to pull it yourself according to the order and then you got to load it up on your truck for the day so let's get started <laughs> takes about 15 to 20 minutes to pull your order here depending on how big it is when I was at my old company they pulled our order for us and had it by our door they do it differently here at Pepperidge Farm which is fine it's not that big of a deal uh, and at Flowers we also would separate at the warehouse we'd separate our load to corresponding stores well here you just pull your load and then you get we go into each store here to see what the store needs and then we come back out of the truck and pull our order so it's a little bit different here and you'll see that in the video but I'll go ahead and show you what my load is today it's it's a little small compared to what I have had because this is after Memorial Day and this and this video is going over a few different days uh, as I can get it recorded so just to give you an idea because I'm sure you'll see me in different clothes every day but Here's what I got so far. All this is my bread here. It's about it's about 40 trays. Now let's unload the stale and all the empty trays and get the new stuff and get all the new stuff loaded for the day. Now I'm loaded, 
ready to roll. Well, almost ready to roll. Now, I got a sheet, that sheet I showed you earlier with my load on it. Now I've got to do some adjustments, things I was missing. So let me do that and I'll be back. Got my adjustments keyed in. I'm going to finish up the load so we can actually get on the road. The load is completely done. Now, unfortunately, with his comp particular computer, his stop, all of his stops are not in here, so I have to go in and manually put them in. Now that that's done with the getting all the stops put in the computer, that way I don't have to do it at each stop during the day. Now I can roll on down the road and hit the first stop. BJ's. Here we come. Like I said, today is Monday Memorial Day 2019. Nobody on the roads really. This is the big day. Mondays is always rough on this route. He's got 14 grocery stores and I do 13 of them today. Along with picking up a whole lot of empty trays and a bunch of rollers for the trays. It's going to be a busy day, so y'all stay tuned. And there's our destination right there. BJ's. All right, for another step of the process, we're going in to a grocery store to do the pull stale and stock them up, get the order, and get it pulled in the back of the truck. So let's go get this done. check-in procedure process and she thinks that the or she says that the I'd have to ask the store manager which I'm gonna be honest that store manager is probably gonna say no I'll try to get it done in another store which they I have a really good reputation with so we will see what happens so I hope you guys get to see the actual check-in process just to give you an idea of what it's all about and between the stores they're pretty much all the same just little differences here and there Well, finally after 11 stores, I am done and I'm heading to the house. It's a little, about 10 after one. And then I get to do the rest of my work. There's more to do. It ain't finished yet. Just because I'm done with the stores doesn't mean it's finished yet. So I will show you that next. Here we are, the next step. I'm in the back of the truck. As you can see, got back stock which is today's quite a bit been slow after the holiday so now it's time to condense all this get all these empty trays taken care of and just get the truck straightened up for tomorrow's load so let's get to it Alright, 
on for the next step. Are y'all tired yet? <laughs> now is on for the order. I gotta key everything in for a order that's coming in next week. Today is Thursday. Typically the order that I would be doing for today would be coming in Monday, but I am doing it a day early, mainly because Pepperidge Farm Bread Company, you have to have your bread order and everything transmitted by 3 p.m. of that day. Well, sometimes things may happen, truck may break down, and I don't have a way to send the order via uh, cellular with this computer because for some reason the cellular part is not working. So I have to do it with Wi-Fi here at my house. So I choose to do it a day early. That way the order is sent and I don't have to worry about it. So instead of doing Thursday for Monday today, I'm doing today, but I'm ordering for next Tuesday along with another order that will be for next, let's see, it'll be next Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. They have two separate orders with this company. So I'm doing one for Tuesday, one for Thursday, one for Friday, and one for Saturday. So you have to order them way in advance in order to get it. And if any of you are wondering why sometimes you don't have bread on the shelf in a grocery store, this is why. You're, doing, you're trying to make your best estimate on what you're gonna sell, how much you're gonna have left over, and how much you need to order, because you have to order so far in advance. And that's what a lot of store managers and vendor receivers, assistant managers, they don't understand. We're not like, uh, soda companies or beer companies to where they can have this stuff stockpiled in a warehouse just waiting because they got six, eight month date on this product. We have days, not months or even weeks. So you, so that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. That way, not only those of you that knew I was in the bread business for about 14 years to see what I actually go through in a day, but I was doing this, so uh, hopefully some of the vendor receivers and even store managers, maybe they might catch wind of this video and watch it and actually see what we go through. And when you have vendors that are other vendors that hold you up, that's got a huge order in front of you, or you have a receiver that doesn't do this all the time, it can throw your whole day off. You can get stuck for 15 minutes waiting to get your stuff checked in and checked out. It can, by the end of the day, that can turn into an hour to an hour and a half because it just snowballs. You, you're late getting to your next stop and then you're out of sync with the vendors that come in. And then you go to the next stop and you, it just snowball effect and it can turn into an hour and a half by the end of the day. So, I've got all my paperwork here for items that are going on sale soon for different grocery stores. And I have my other orders that I have already printed out that I've already made. So I have to go through these and order for next Tuesday on what I think is going to go on the shelf and what I need for displays. So let's get to it. Well, what did you think? Something you wanna do? Probably not. Most people don't. And I have said this for years and people get a chuckle out of it. In order to be a bread man, you have to be a special kind of idiot to do that job. No offense to all the bread guys that are out there, but they will agree with me. You have to be a special kind of person to be able to do that job to be able to get up that early in the morning to do the route, go and do everything you need to do and still have a family life. It's really tough. And anybody that's watching this video that happens to know me personally, you know the struggles that I went through. Always tired, never went out, never did anything, but it got me where I am today. Because I, didn't, I was making really good money there for quite a few years 
and I didn't have time to spend it. So what did I do? I got my butt out of debt. I paid all my credit cards off. So something good did come out of it, but I'll tell you my, uh, <laughs> my 30s are a blur because all I did was work. So, so with that being said, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you know any vendors, whether they're uh, cookies or uh, Pepperidge Farm uh, snacks or Little Debbie's or, or just whoever, or if you're a store manager and a assistant manager of a store, what have you, pass this on to them because they think that it's just so easy to do our job. And it's not true. So hopefully this will help with other vendors that have those problems with management that maybe they'll understand a little bit more. So like I said, guys, I'm going to cut this off here. I hope everybody enjoyed it. You guys have a great one. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and smash that uh, subscribe button and ring that little bell next to it so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So. Until the next time, guys, have a good one, and thanks for watching. Talk to you later.